What's poppin' pretty posse? It's your girl Jasmine and I am back with another video. This is part two of how to make a frontal wig. Um, this unit is actually a half up half down using a 16 inch HD frontal from my hair collection called the Pretty Poppin' Collection. <laughs> uh, so you can go visit the Pretty Poppin' Collection .com, um, to purchase units and bundles and all that good stuff uh, related to the Pretty Lounge and the Pretty Poppin' brand. So in this video, I will be showing you how I actually styled this unit. Um, as you saw just a moment ago, um, the inside of the unit, I actually custom made this unit on a sewing machine. Um, and then, uh, you know, now it's time to style it. So I am styling this unit in a half up, half down using wand curls. Um, in this video, you'll see me using a various amount of products. I will go ahead and tell you um, the first product that I use more frequently is an oil-free wig shine. Um, I believe it's by the brand OK. It is a oil-free wig shine, and I like to use that versus using like a wax stick because I feel that it doesn't make the hair seem as oily in the styling. Um, and I can use it as many times as I like and it's not going to cause the wig to, to look oily or the hair to start feeling greasy, you know what I mean? So you'll see me spraying like a clear spray a lot of the times. I'll also use a, well not a, but you know our, our regular go-to which is the Gots To Be Holding Spray. So I do use that in this video um, just to help me style the unit and, and get everything nice and firm once the actual style is in before I start curling. Um, when making like bangs on a unit, I find it easier to go ahead and start with the middle part and then pull the bangs out based on the actual middle part on the wig. So as you can see right now, I am forming those two bang pieces in the front and I started with using, you know, the mold of, of a middle part. So just stay tuned. You'll see me smoothing this ponytail in together, honey. Um, I'll also be adding in a track. Um, to the ponytail to make it more fuller. Um, so just stay tuned and then I will let you all know how I actually uh, do my curling process because whether you know it or not, there is a process to curling a wig. Okay, there's a process. Stay tuned. like the firm basing of the style you know so everything is slicked up nice and sleek there's no flyaways really everything is in place and ready to be curled that way I don't have to go back you know and, and mess with that it's everything is ready girl the scalp is busting through the lace do you see it okay the hair is feeling great and it is now time to curl so in curling I always split the hair down the middle that is your first step split the hair down the middle separate one side and then each side is to go toward the front of the wig so you can see that the end of the tool is pointing toward the front of the wig well, this side is a lot easier because you know I'm using my dominant hand which is my right hand to hold the tool so it's easier to wrap you know the hair on there that's how my hand is used to doing it but I will tell you the other side is not that I'm not gonna say it's not that easy but it is you know a little difficult because you're using your less dominant hand to hold um, the tool and then you know wrap the hair with the other hand 
which honestly I burnt myself a couple times y'all I mean I'm not gonna say I burnt myself a couple times but sometimes in the curling the other way I do find that the the end of that um, wand curl is hitting my wrist and to be honest with y'all it's because it's broke it don't got no it don't have the tip on it the rubber tip on it <laughs> to, to um, you know take away from the heat actually hitting me so whatever I'm a hairstylist I'm used to you know a little hurt there and there but the magic rule is to have the tool pointing toward the face on whichever side that you're on so I'm now starting on the other side I'm using uh, my less less dominant hand to hold the tool and I'm curling toward the face on the other side that's just gonna make sure that the hair looks really even um, especially in the back and it's gonna make sure that on the sides of your face like your face is framed correctly with the curls it's the same type of curl it's just one curl is going one way one curl going the other way and it's creating the frame that you need for your face so um, stay tuned for the remainder of this video um, just as a note I also do the ponytail the same exact way split it in half and then do the curls facing both sides of the face to help create that frame. I also do the same thing with the two bang pieces in the front. Um, I make sure that the, the actual curl is going the way that it needs to so that way when it sets upon the face, it's framing the face. It's not going the opposite direction. So make sure um, if you like this video to go ahead and like this video. Put a thumbs up on it, you know what I'm saying? Put a thumbs up on this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel um, so that you can see more tutorials on how, you know, I do this thing over here at Pretty Lounge, okay? Um, I'm trying to get in a better groove of filming what I actually do. <laughs> and it's kind of hard when you're moving at a mile a minute. Uh, but I am trying to make sure that, you know, I show how I'm doing these things. Give a quick tutorial. I know there's other people out here that want to grow their craft and it's always good to you know just look and see what's going on in the industry and and how people are doing things so thank you so much for tuning into this video you can do this at home okay learn how to make a wig on a sewing machine learn how to style it so that it is beautiful at the end and baby sell that wig okay get these coins thank you so much for tuning in i hope y'all have a great great day stay tuned for the final product